We now enter the gates of hell as we are ready to um, go to the shop and buy our things. Like, um, probably some new techniques and whatnot. But yes, we also got another LP, so we're ready to get a new weapon. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Bayonetta for the PS3. I'm Samurai TX, and when we last left off, we defeated Fortitude. And by defeating Fortitude, we actually ended up um, getting a gold. Normally I get silver for that fight, but I got a gold, so we didn't need to use an item. Yep, you get to work, Rodan. Because I'm pretty bored waiting for you. Yes, you get to work. I want my new weapon. That was quite a fight you had there. I will take care of it. And we got a Kushidra. The Kushidra is a whip. It's actually my first time getting it since um, I didn't really get all the LPs in the previous um, playthrough. I only got three. I'm pretty sure there's only five to get or something like that. But let's try the Umbra Bottle Kick, which you press circle while holding R2. Pretty cool move. Will I be using it as much in this um, part? Maybe not. After Burner Kick. Hmm, that sounds pretty interesting. Okay, let's try it. So when you're in the air, you just tap you tap any direction, and then you just press circle, and it comes off with that kick. It's a pretty good kick. So we're going to purchase it. And, of course, normally I don't buy these, but I will give it an exception in this um, part, because I don't like this part. Chapter 5 is where I normally have problems, so we're going to buy a Witch Heart to increase our vitality. So let's exit, because we can't buy anything else, except another technique, which we don't really need yet. Rodan, nice doing business with you, by the way. And now we're going to get... I was about to say, now we're going to get... I was meant to say, now we're going to start Chapter 5. Chapter 5 being called The Lost Grounds, I believe. The Lost Holy Ground, sorry. See, I nearly forgot the name, but... Um, I, f I forgot the holy in the name, but um, it's Lost Gra Holy Grounds. I said Lost Grounds, but you get the point. And now we're just doing a little mini remix. Yep, might as well. Oh, Bayonetta. Look at that. It's just doing the Resident Evil 1 glitch. See, I told you it has that ability. It's so funny. Look at, Just look at it. She's not even walking. But I do like that sassy walk. I agree. I hope you did too. So what we're going to do is actually um, change one of our um, weapons. We've got the two guns for our um, customized weapons and the other one's a sword and a gun. So let's put the Kushidra in um, variation A. And of course let's test out this bad boy. Here, here. So the Kushidra is going to be very important to use when we get to the um, one of the um, things. But you shall see why I said that. Details, man. Crescent and Sunrise Valley. They are important. Let's give it a read. Open Antonio's Notebook. <laughs> hey. Right, so time to read. As overseers of history, the Lumen Sages and Uber Riches were both incredibly powerful, each fearing each other and strictly prohibiting interrelations as a way to maintain the balance upon power. <laughs> Upon the annual occasion of a total solar eclipse, the only selected elders of each clan were allowed to meet the... Sorry if my breathing gets in the um, audio. Um, I do have some slight problems with breathing right now. The other group to conduct negotiations. I suppose that each clan drawing their power from the sun and the moon respectively must have held the eclipse as the most special of celestial phenomena. The two clans inexorably linked but opposed, like positive and negative, solidified this relationship in their interconnected mountain sideways, the, Bre the Witch's Sanctuary of Crescent Valley and the Sage's Sacred Sunrise Valley. Alright, so that's interesting things to know so far. Located in an inaccessible and treacherous region, these areas were lined with countless rows of stone monuments, 
dedicated to each clan's dead and large statues depicting a witch and sage stood at the center of the shared area, demarcating the border between each clan's territory. Each statue has its back turned to the other and their visages as, though rejecting any human intrusion, the stir intense feelings of discomfort within one's soul. Atop these statues, the clans met for a yearly consort, giving the, this place a mysterious but interesting ambience. Oh, sorry about that. These valleys were not just filled with memorial tombs, they were also home to training facilities in the light and dark arts, held at sacred grounds by both clans. Today, the statue of the Umba Rich is truly a gruesome sight. As a giant spear has pierced a woman's chest, it was shoved through the statue during the witch's... Okay. Witch's age of persecution. It will be a required unspeakable power from the Lumen Sage who carried off the act. Ah, that is very terrible. Getting a spear in your chest is not the way to go, but yeah. What an ugly, what an ugly death. Alright, so we're going to put the Kushidra to good work eventually. Not now, though. The Kushidra ha will have its uses, and you will see when, where, I, what I mean by that. Eventually. They won't be like that now. Alright, let's go. And let's um, just shoot the um, angels. Might as well shoot the angels. And then have a little shooting practice. There we go. That should be pure platinum, because we didn't get no damage. Good stuff. Good start, too. Can't guarantee that this um, level will be platinum. Normally, I struggle with this one. I get um, bronze performance, which is not good enough for me. Hi. Second Sphere, Grace and Glory, Virtues. Hello. Well, we do have Witch Time, so I'm just going to attack you and then just give you some Witch Time. Oh, boy. Now let's rotate away as he's trying to fight away from the torture attack. Well, of course, that's not going to work, and I'm going to hurt you. Kerblamo. Hello. Right, who's next? Oh, you. Yeah, let's enter which time. Just give you some damage. Kick you. Kick, 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 kick. Yeah. Oh, that didn't work. Right, let's dodge you. Hi, he's dead. And now let's attack you. Dodge casually. And then attack you again. The dodge mechanic does work sometimes for me. It doesn't work all the time, but I hope it keeps working consistently. I don't want to get damaged here. Kevin damage here is too early, to be honest with you. Hi. Ow. I said I didn't want to get damaged, but I end up getting damaged, but that's okay. I think that'll be a gold, and I just won't stop because I really don't need it right now. Hey, we got a sh piece of the LP. Kaboom. Bye. We got platinum. Imagine if we didn't get damaged, I would have been pure platinum, but that's okay. I don't really mind not getting a pure platinum. As platinum's better than nothing. Yeah, I... If you do hear my breathing on the, um... Microphone is cause um the fact that um I have um I have got um asthma and whatnot so yeah sometimes I do have issues breathing and today's one of those days so I do apologize for that but I'll edit out the breathing because I'm probably gonna be doing it a lot like that but I do apologize but um you won't you won't hear most of the breathing because it'll be edited out it'll, it, I'll, I'll silence my um stuff but let's go in first Alfheim. Of course, um, during this part, um, you have to, um, after beating the second verse, you have to go backwards. And we're doing a remix. <laughs> right, what did the taunt say? I think the taunt said, your, your halos are mine. Pretty cool taunt, but we're going to switch to the sword variation because I just like using the sword a lot in this game. Use witch time. Defeat all the angels before time expires, and they can only be beaten during witch time. That's fine. Let's taunt. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Alright, let's go. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Haha, <laughs> thanks for witch time, by the way. Hey, hello. Oh, look, another witch time. Slice. 
Because we angered that angel, we uh, knew that um, we're going to get in trouble. There we go. And to goodbye. <laughs> All right, let's go. Told you. Come on, let's go. <laughs> Pow. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. All right, let's just keep attacking and um, just keep going. All right, so let's go. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. There we go. Just kick you in there. Time to execute a torture attack. <laughs> torture attacks are one of the fun things in this game, anyway. Alright, so yeah, I always do like as you execute a torture attack. The torture attacks are easily one of the better things in this game. I just love doing it because um, you just it's just all the unique tortures that Bayonetta puts them through. It's really one of the more unique things. I hope they added more in the next two games. I've not played Bayonetta 2. <laughs> and obviously Bayonetta 3, well, that's... Yet to have a release date. I, I saw the trailer, and that's about it. Just the first one, anyway, that Nintendo released. But that's kind of it. Hey, hey! Right, so there's one more enemy. Hello! Let's dodge you and fire an uh, arrow in your face. And let's try and dodge you a lot. Let's keep dodging. Ah, you missed. All right, let's do this. Hey! Oh, yeah. I like this torture attack. We're going to play football with you. Hey, hey. There we go. And you're down. Uh-oh. That's not good. Wee. There we go. All right. Let's fire an arrow. Oops. That was a terrible thing. Oh, we hit. We fired the arrow at his uh, fireball and then it ended up um, hitting him. That's not what I wanted, but that's okay. Hello, you. Thank you. All right. Let's. I'm a fire in my laser. Oh, it's gone. Damn. Right. All right. Let's dodge, keep dodging, just don't take no damage, and you're dead. Ha <laughs> ha! But yeah, I do have issues with breathing, so yeah. Um, I'm trying to do as much as I can to upload content, even though I'm having that trouble breathing. I'll probably um, do something else um, afterwards. Oh, we got pure platinum! <laughs> nice! I was going to say, um, well, because I do have that issue with breathing right now, I'm probably going to um, slow down on the content. I'm not. I'm gonna give content, obviously, but um, I really need to um, try and get better. This came out of nowhere, but um, it is what it is. Your halos are mine, mate. I love that tone. Plus, it, you you can do a good remix, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> it is. It sounds like something like that comes out of a R, like a random R and B remix type um, mixtape or something. Yeah, you better get used to me doing that, because I do like the um, fact that you could just casually um, do the Resident Evil 1 glitch where you're running and you can press a button. Alright, so now we're going to do things normal, especially after, well, doing the Alpha I'm is something normal, but we had to go backwards to do that, and this isn't the only time we're going to be going backwards to search for an Alpha I'm. Because for three of them, you have to go backwards, because they're all pretty much backwards. They're all behind you, when, when every every Alfheim you search for in this um, video is behind you. I think there's four Alfheims in this um, part, but um, I don't particularly know where three of them are. So I told you I won't be able to get all Alfheims, plus I already missed one already in Chapter 1, and I missed a few already in Chapter 2, I believe, so yeah. Hopefully it doesn't get to that point. Alright, hello. Let's just do the usual. Yeah, we're just going to kill them from here. Because the halos will eventually come to us. When we get closer to them. If we get close to them. Sometimes the halos have the tendency to disappear, which I hope they don't. Hello. You are dead. Good stuff. Right, there we go. Let's just jump this way and... Oh, 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 oh. Good thing that the firm thing doesn't fall. Alright, so we're going to try and get some things out of you. Get more things out of the statue. And there we go. And cutscene's about to happen, I believe. Without 
about a girl. Most curious, isn't it, Cheshire? What's also most curious is how a child like you is kept afloat in this town. Her name is Luca! And don't you think it's a little strange to be worried about my well-being? Sure, the Festival of Resurrection is peak security. The thing only happens once every 500 years, can you blame them? Besides, when you look as good as I do, security isn't a problem. A killer like you, on the other hand, I'm sure you found a way. That little girl? I've seen her somewhere. Go freaking out on me. We both know you came here for something. But what you don't know is the closer you get, the harder it's gonna be for you to get away from me and what you've done. You'll have to fess up to it all. <laughs> I can't wait for you to get your hands on whatever it is you're after. Let me guess, you want a cut? Well, if you're still alive by then, perhaps you can appeal to my generosity still alive you may be standing right in front of me but you're definitely not living in reality which is a shame because the truth is always going to be the truth all i see when i look at you the real you is the truth the truth is you killed my father i don't care who believes me they can't reject the truth the truth will set me free from your black stain on my life. The truth will allow me to expose you to the world. Then I'll swap. And I'll do it without stooping to your level. Because I'm not a heartless witch like you. Whoa, whoa! What are you gonna do? Kill me in plain sight? Go ahead. It would only prove everything I've said about you. Well, that and sadden the hearts of a number of young ladies. Claire, Trish, Sylvia, and Amber. Oh, you don't want to piss her off, let me tell you. Hell hath no fury. He just couldn't resist. He's copping a feel. I look at him. Hey, look at him. Oh god, that oh come on. Fan service galore. Isn't he lucky? And Bernard have saved you. She's not that bad of a person. She saved your bacon. Clearly did. You should be thankful. I wish she would let you die if she was really a heartless witch now, wouldn't she? Alright, so let's keep going. Because we're about to enter another fight. Howdy. This is a new enemy. Well, this this enemy's new. That's why he's getting his that's why he's getting his own one. And he's called Fearless Dominions. Ooh, second sphere, Fearless Dominions. Ooh. Hello. Ow, I got hit. And there goes Luca. If you saw him in the background. Yeah, he looked like a little ghost and whatnot, but still you saw him just Spider-Man his way out of here. Ow. Do you mind? I'm, I'm trying to attack this fiery dog here. This is fiery Fido. Oh, look, I dodged that laser without even noticing where it is. Right, hi. Oop, I dodged you without even trying. Looks like I'm pressing the dodge button one too many times. I can't do that a lot because if I do, I might get caught out doing it, actually. Right, let's kick you away. And then, hello with the torture attack. Here we go with the kick. And we're going to play football with you. Booyah! Hello. You missed me again, and we could beat you easily. You lost you lost your whip, your electric whip thing. Right, we can't beat you. Oh, which time? You are dead. Now it's time to kick you. There we go. Oh, we didn't even do that much damage, unfortunately. Uh-oh. Ow. That hurts, you silly little bugger. Right, hi. Ow! Well, that wasn't too nice either. Very silly little mutt. I'm pretty sure it is a fiery dog. It looks like it's got a vibe of a dog anyway, so yeah, I'm just gonna keep I'm just gonna make sure it's a I'm just gonna think it's a dog. But anyway, he's gonna die. 
very miserably. Told you. That's probably going to be uh, um, gold at this moment in time, but I know that there's going to be another part of the verse. Yeah, because this part also has another fight. Well, not another fight, but it has enemies. All right, let's go. I hope I just don't get really bad um, review. Goodbye. All right, let's go. Out, you cheeky little bugger. Oh, hello. Haha, <laughs> you missed. All right, let's kick you out. Kick, 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 kick. Bang. Haha. <laughs> All right, let's cut you. Cut you. Oh, dodge. No, oh, no. this time. Oh, hello. I was about to say this time we missed, but um, no, we got it because of this guy. Thank you. And now let's end you. Oh, jeez. Right, let's hit that. We're hitting that back towards whoever's attacking us. Wait, where's your weapon? Right, let's try and hit that back. Take that back. Boom. Oh, he's still alive. What the? Oh, it's only just him. Right, let's just attack you. Oh, the thing's about to fall. Let's fly. Oh, God, we got silver bar. It's because we took too much damage. Let's grab the tears. And let's go. Yeah, we got the Umber and Tears of Blood. And now we're going to do more reading. Because there is a book over here. And there's something over there, too. But let's read. Heavy mani Heavenly Manipulators. Okay. Let's open up this notebook and let's start reading. The Umber Witch's sacred Crescent Valley is said to contain enormous relics hearkening back to the valley's place as a training ground in the witch's supernatural magical arts. The long bridge that snakes between the cavernous ravines of the valley stone circles hinting at a celestial principle's training chambers where death was waged in hopes of polishing one's skills in life. All of these are depicted in the tattered records I have obtained. I know if they n ever truly existed. However, the magnificent appearance of the witch statue in the distance seems to indicate that the legends passed down through history are in fact real. Amongst these numerous artifacts, the most mysterious are those known as Heavenly Manipulators. I have already described how the Uber Witches drew their power from the darkness and the Lumen Sages from the light. However, I have not mentioned how these powers were at their greatest during the full moon or the peak of the sun's ascent. The two groups created the Heavenly Manipulators to affect the movement of the sun and the moon, and these devices played a role in the clan's most important ceremonial rites. If stories are to be believed, the clans could affect even the ways of cosmos at will. The powers of the witch and sage were not common knowledge, although as overseers of history, one could imagine that they had appropriately powerful abilities, making their ultimate destruction an even more ironic end. Wow. Yeah, I agree with that one. But we got a lot of things to do. So let's just keep going, actually. But first, let's see. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we're supposed to obviously touch this little switch here. Because if we don't, we won't be able to progress. So within the turn of the tide, we're turning it from day to night. Why, you must be wondering? Because we need to get over there. And um, it will enable our witch walk powers. So, yeah, we do have to get over there. That will light up. Of course, curiosity is what piques Bayonetta's interest right now, so she's going to investigate this and check it. A moonlight disc is visible through the crescent window. Was the moon's sudden appearance in the sky when the gears rotated just a coincidence? No. Just no. All right, let's keep going. We're going to use the Kushidra here. So the Kushidra is going to have its uses, because we're going to try and get some halos and stuff. If we can hit anyone, that is... I don't think we can. <laughs> Alright, so let's keep going. And let's just attack you. And now we're going to try and shoot you. Oh, hi! They came back. Now we're going to whip them. Whip them into shape, Bayonetta. Here, angels! Here, here! I love the way Bayonetta just, just casually whips the angels. Maybe I should use this whip more often. It just makes Bayonetta feel so satisfying, you know, just knowing that she has this whip. Has anyone else had the whip? You know, like in your first playthrough, I wonder if any of you had the whip. Probably not. I'm probably going to guess not everybody did, because they just played the game. They didn't really look for the other content until they played it a second time. I guess that's kind of me as well. Well, I've beaten this game about twice. 
twice, three times. This is my fourth playthrough, so that's the only reason why I'm going through to check if I know where everything is, which I obviously don't, otherwise I would have gotten the Alphimes in the first um, chapter after the prologue. But it's okay. I'm not really complaining right now, because um, I have gotten more Alphimes than I have already got in my personal playthroughs of all three times which is true because i did not um get any alphimes well i did get i did find some alphimes but i kept failing the challenges so i just didn't play them that was because i was too inexperienced at the time and too impatient because i was still a teenager then but now i've got the patience for this game that's why i'm, I'm playing it as on the channel 10 years later upon release right let's go into you and torture you hello welcome to our torture chamber for now Let's spin this rotator left analog stick right round, baby, right round, Dan Kerblamo. Not particularly dead yet. I would see that should realistically kill them, but um, I'm not going to complain. Realistically, all torture attacks should kill enemies, to be honest with you. Um, I think you guys could probably be inclined to agree with that, because it's called a torture attack, so it should kill them. Especially with all the torture techniques Bayonetta has, it should kill them. But in fact, it doesn't. We've taken too much damage here. I'm afraid we're going to get a silver. I think we will get a silver because we took too much damage. But at least um, the enemy was generous enough to give me some health. Let's pick that up. And we might encounter some new enemies. I told you. That's why the suspense was so long. If it was new enemies, they wouldn't have um, given a cutscene. Who are these guys, anyway? Harmony. Second Sphere Harmony Dominions. Ooh, hoo, hoo. These guys are very annoying, actually. They can be very annoying, see? I got hit even though... I got hit mid-dodge, so that's kind of unfair, but... It is what it is. Right, to get their attention, just jump above them and just keep dodging. Just keep dodging. Okay, now we can attack this one because it's on the floor. And you are dead. Oh, look, you dropped me some health. Aren't you generous? Oh, you actually dropped me medium health. Even better. Right, you're down. Right, can we get you down? There we go. You are down. Ow, you cheeky little bugger. Now, you, now you've officially not made me get my secret weapon when I attack you guys, but that's okay. I'm just going to kill you anyway by shooting you. Alright, the second piece of the LP. There's three pieces of the LP here. We're going to get silver. Yeah, we got too much damage. The combos weren't too great either, unfortunately, but... I couldn't care less, as long as we beat the um, chapter without using losing as much health. Because losing health, I don't really like losing a lot of health. That's why I bought another Witch Heart, because I know I'm not really that good at Chapter 5. Chapter 5 is one of my weaker chapters, I'm not going to lie, in this game. Alright, so we got a third piece of the Broken Witch Heart. Only one more piece, and then we're going to get another Vitality. Right now, we can't even afford to buy another Witch Heart from the shop, which is okay. I'm not really too fussed about that. I'm not, actually. I'm really not, which is okay. Can can you cut that? Thank you. It left us nothing anyway, so that was useless. Alright, so yeah, we're going to um, get the second piece of it. There's another piece, but not around here anyway. It's going to probably be in the latter part of the stage. And, it's, and the LPs are always visible to see, because they're the, obviously the biggest things to see anyway. Okay, I was trying to see if we can get any health here, but obviously the answer is no. So what we're going to do is progress. Yeah, we're just going to progress on. Might as well. And let's move on. Let's go up. Do, 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 do. Oh, yeah, let's wait for these. Let's just keep casually dodging them. Well, we're not really casually dodging them. We're just uh, making way for them because they're actually trying to attack us. So, yeah, we just got to make way for them. All right, let's see. Let's shoot these. Let's shoot these. You know, we're getting to the 29th minute. This this chapter's a long one as well, so what I'm going to do is check. This must have been used during training, which it, of which is stepping onto it gives hints of some sort of faint moving. What we're going to do is break through these to see if there's anything for us. Let's see if they can give us anything. Ooh, hello. All right, let's fill up our witch time meter. Good stuff. A good thing that we're getting a second page of witch time. All right, so what we're going to do is actually... Um, I'm not going to read the book here. Uh, once I access the book, I suppose I'll um, cut the video off. So I think that's fair so that I can read it in the next uh, video. But yeah, um, here's the Broken Moon Bow. And we've got another Witch Time Meter. For us, good for us. So yeah, I'm going to um, open this book and I'm not going to read it. I'll read it in the next video. So I'll be right back, everybody.